this is Newbie Noob here, and because it's 10 days to Forever Alone Day, aka Valentine's Day, I have just decided to make a new series called Love Tip of the Day, which I will be posting, well, every day, until Valentine's Day has come. I hope you guys haven't heard at least some of these ti these 10 tips I will be posting, and that you find them useful. Let's begin. Yeah, so the first tip I have for you guys is actually that you can pull the small camp on the halfbar side, which I'm showing you in the video right now. And this can be done in many, many ways. Yeah, so the basics are that you want to pull the creeps on the small camp at between 34 to 36. Because this is when the, this is the optimal time to get him uh, to get him to meet with the your well, well with your creeps. Uh, but this cannot be done with every camp. This can only be done with a snotter boss camp, with a sports bitter camp, or with a word beast camp. Uh, so you cannot do it if there's a healer or or uh, an ebula camp. This is also a really nice trick and efficient way to get your lane control. If you pull the slaughter bosses precisely at the time where the warlock runs by, that is the only thing that's gonna aggro them because it's ranged and it has like a more wider aggro range, which results in you getting lane control because the warlock dies, and this can be really important at, at least in uh, high tier games where the uh, pull cap is usually blocked, and if you lose lose lane control, then you're pretty fucked. Yeah, so the last thing you can do with this uh, little tip is that you first pull the small camp and aggro the entire wave and after that you aggro the medium camp which will result in them running towards you and towards your creeps and the, after the small camp dies they're gonna aggro the medium camp. This does not only make you get lane control but it also makes you get a lot of experience and farm in a safe way and well it's good for everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little tip and I will see you in the next video.